A position of need for the Bears offense is definitely center. We've seen some terrible center play in the last several years. So if the Bears are going to sit there and address that position in free agency, we just took a, a quick handful of guys here, and we're going to take a look at Connor Williams from the Miami Dolphins, 26 years old. I just looked at the health aspect of it. In 2021, he played 14 games. 2022, he played the full season. Last year, he played nine games. Spotrax got him at two years, 14 million, 7 million a year. David, what do you think about a guy like Connor Williams? I think in this type of system that you're asking for potentially moving forward, um, I think Connor Williams looks probably like a, a really good situation for him. Um, as you have down there, right, he only played nine games, so injury kind of plagued him this season. But uh, a three-year starter, younger guy, uh, at this point as a Bears fan, I, I feel like I just want to see somebody with legs, somebody who can actually move and <laughs> not just get pushed backwards every time. Um, 26 years old, uh, overall rating for you know PFF was pretty good, 86.5. Uh, one sack allowed 20 in 2023. And however, he does have a good amount of penalties for such a short amount of time um, with the way that Miami plays, right? A lot of three and four guys, he probably is much more of a zone, uh, a zone running scheme type center. Um, I don't know how he would do necessarily with somebody who would be up in his face and pushing the pocket, but to a seem to do just fine. Uh, however, that could be a lot of Mike McDaniel there. Um, I just can't stand to see another old guy there that we have. I don't want to see Lucas Patrick or Cody Whitehair. And Connor Williams feels like a good stopgap of somebody who is young enough to play now, um, has enough experience for me to trust them, and also just kind of have a young guy waiting in the wings, developing. And if he didn't work out, Connor Williams, then you know you're not breaking the bank. You could probably move on from him pretty quickly and. We're kind of back in the same situation we started with, but I think it'd be a definite upgrade. Every, anything's pretty much an upgrade at this point. Next guy we're going to look at is Andre James off of the Raiders, 26 years old. 2021, he played 17 games full season, and then the last two years he played 15 games in both those years. He's looking at two years, $8.6 million, $4.3 million a year. David, what do you think about Andre James from the Raiders? Uh, this is a little bit more of like a solid guy, right? Um, three year starter, like you said, the last few years, uh, right in the middle of the pack in terms of player grades, there's an epidemic of just underperforming linemen in the NFL right now. It's a defensive line first type of situation. Very rarely. There's only really, you know, three or four standout centers in the league as it is. Um, but he's like right in the middle of the pack and I would feel much more comfortable running him out there consistently. He's a consistent starter. Very rarely gets hurt. Only four sacks allowed over the 2023 season. Uh, three penalties, so he's not holding a lot. It's it's a be, it'd be a very refreshing center over a guy like Lucas Patrick, who's falling down trying to save his life and holding for dear life every play. Um, and at that price, I mean, I don't I don't know how you could really go wrong. Um, so I'm I'm a big fan of just upgrading with Andre James if he's willing to come here. Next guy we're gonna look at is. Aaron Brewer from the Tennessee Titans, 26 years old. In 2021, he played 12 games. 2022, he played the full season. And last year, he just missed one game. He's looking at a value of three years, $15.7 million, about $5.2 million a year. David, what do you think about a guy like Aaron Brewer? Uh, with a guy like Aaron Brewer, I mean, he's a, he's a great, solid starter. He's a bit undersized for what you kind of expect from the center position. He's... 6'1", 275, when usually centers hover around 300. So he's a bit undersized, but more of an athletic type. A guy like Aaron Brewer, um, he's, he's like the middle of the pack option in my mind. He's super consistent, plays almost every game. However, he holds up. He's a bit middle of the pack in terms of the PFF grade and all that stuff. Middle of the pack uh, in terms of penalties, but he does allow a lot of sacks, which is what you would expect from like an undersized athletic lineman. He's allowed the second most sacks at the center position. So he's going to get bullied by defensive tackles, but he's going to be there. So I don't know if it's a necessarily an, a huge upgrade for what we've seen, um, but, you know, Lucas Patrick, it doesn't get much worse. The last center we're going to look at is 
Evan Brown from the Seattle Seahawks, 27 years old. In 2021, he played 12 games. In 2022, he played 12 games. And last year, he played 15 games. He's only looking at a one-year $2.2 million deal. And the reason why we're going to talk about him is definitely the connection to our new offensive coordinator, Shane Waldron, because he did play under him for the last couple of years. David, what do you think about a guy like Evan Brown? To me, this feels like the most obvious signing, maybe uh, for the Bears this whole offseason. Uh, my only concern is it feels a little Lucas Patricky in the sense of it's the same type of situation, right? Like Lucas Patrick was not a consistent starter at that position in Green Bay. However, he did start a few games, and uh, Luke Getzey wanted somebody from his old regime to kind of come in and know his calls, know his signals, uh, know how to like do line adjustments and stuff like that. At the price tag, I'm much more comfortable with Evan Brown. He's super middle of the pack. However, he's a consistent starter. Hasn't allowed a lot of sacks at the position because he's a little bit bigger of a guy, like 6'3", 320. Uh, however, he's highly penalized. Sixth most penalties at center in the league, seven penalties. That is to say, though, Lucas Patrick, if you didn't know this, 11 penalties all season for holding. Uh, one of the highest rates in the NFL. And so th- even that already is an upgrade. I think if you surround him with a decent guard on each side at his size, he should be good. He is a bit of a journeyman. So like he is to me the stopgap measure. I don't feel comfortable with him starting the next two or three years, especially if you're drafting a, a young line, a uh, young quarterback, or even if you're keeping fields there, I think fields has demonstrated. He handles uh, upfront pressure really, really rough. He's great at dodging a defensive end. If you could give him solid three guys up front, Fields has thrived. Um, and then even with a young quarterback, we know what that is. A young quarterback's death sentence is pressure right in his face. So Evan Brown to me is like, yeah, you can sign him for a year or two, and it makes total sense. I feel like it's almost definitely going to happen. But you need to draft one of those two those two prospects in this year's draft. you got to get Jackson Powers Johnson or you got to get uh, Cedric Van Pran. 